Okay guys, in this video we're just going to look at a couple of skeletal system responses to exercise. So remember, responses are short term changes that uh, revert back afterwards. Uh, we're not talking about adaptations, that will be another video. Um, responses are the skeletal system to exercise. So just a couple of things. The first one is that um, when we exercise, that minerals are taken up into the bones. So exercise stimulates more mineral uptake. Uh, and this is due to weight bearing exercise. And the main mineral, of course, that's taken up into the bone is calcium. And you remember from thinking about bone remodeling that it's calcium in particular that is there in the bone that hardens um, and forms a solid and, and tough and hard outer layer of the bone. Um, and this is called the periosteum. So what happens is when we exercise, um, mechanical stress, so it might be twisting stress, torsion stress, it might be impact stress, whatever it is, stress on the bone itself causes the periosteum, that hard outer layer of the bone, to be damaged. So it's only at a very microscopic level, generally speaking, um, and that's what we call micro trauma. Um, because of those micro traumas then, um, we get an increased amount of mineral uptake in response. Um, it only really happens during exercise. It does have some adaptation um, effects that we'll talk about in another video. But in the short term, we see a, an increase in mineral uptake as a result of this mechanical stress. It's really important in this instance to notice that we're not talking about non-weight bearing exercise. If the bones aren't put under any kind of strain or stress from weight bearing, uh, it doesn't have this effect. It doesn't have this response. So, for example, it doesn't happen in sports like swimming, uh, where the water basically carries the weight of the body. Um, so the effect isn't achieved in swimming, but it is achieved in pretty much all other weight bearing exercises. The second response is the secretion of synovial fluid. So we know that synovial fluid uh, is what um, lubricates the, the synovial joints and allows the joints to move or at, at least helps and assists the joint movement. Um, and when that fluid is secreted, um, or I should say when we start to exercise, that fluid is secreted and it fills the joint capsule. Um, and as the joint gets warmer through use, um, that synovial fluid then becomes thinner. It starts off quite viscous, quite thick, and it becomes thinner and runnier and starts to fill in sort of the gaps uh, around the bones where the bones meet and makes the whole movement of that joint smoother, uh, more efficient and with less friction, so therefore less damage in the long term. So when we start to exercise and the synovial fluid warms up, it fills the joints and smooths um, the, the process of joint movement and it also has then the knock-on effect of an increase in range of movement. That's it for the skeletal system. Only those two uh, for you to know. Um, thank you ever so much uh, for watching. See you next time.